Hi, this is a short video on the procedures behind peritoneal dialysis exchanges. Well, first, we're going to start by closing off the room. A sign will go on the outside saying to do not enter. I'm going to wash my hands and then I will place a mask on myself and the patient and get my supplies ready. After reviewing the orders for the particular dialysis um, solution, they will be kept in a warmer on the outside of the room. Uh, the containers come all in one. You open it like a normal IV bag and it's all connected. You've got your fluid and then your drain bag. You set this on a pole. You get all your stuff situated. You'll put a chuck on the floor for your drain bag to go on. Get that supplies all set. You need two clamps. Have those ready. You take another ch chuck and place that under the patient. Just for note, this procedure is an aseptic procedure, not a sterile procedure. You then need to make sure that you have the l clavis which is the disinfectant solution, as well as an end cap for the finish of the procedure. Open several gauze. Line them up. And prior to all this, I usually take the alclave and I clean off the table as well prior to putting things on the table. Again, you do the same thing. You soak them with the solutions. Set that off to the side. So in prepping of the bags, they have these green um, pins here, here. You take your clamps, clamp on both the upper and the lower, break each pin here and here and when you're ready take this clamp off and let it prime once you're done there undo this to let it prime into the bag so that you have no air in the line at all try and set this for the easiest position because you're going to end up having to do it kind of in a two-handed way so when you're all set Hands are clean, you're, you're, it's aseptic. You take your container. Oh, I forgot that. You didn't see that. Remove that. That end is the only piece that is sterile. That's the piece you have to worry about. Take your gauze, and I usually like to clean it. And then I let it set on the other one until I'm ready. You take this hand, you're gonna pull this off and discard it. Take your piece out, connect it, and then what you need to remember is you have to untwist it here. So it has a dual cap. This can then set back on your field if this is the first dialysate, you, you're gonna open this one up first and let it fill. Go to per your orders, if it's dwell time. If you're already full, your bladder's already full, you're gonna do your drain first. So then you're gonna unclamp your drain. It could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes you need to position the patients, turn them from side to side to get it to flow. Once all of that is done, you take your clamp back, you clamp the lower. 
and now you're going to fill. So you're going to take the clamp off of this one and fill. The doctors will let you know these bags are 2,500 cc's. They may say 1,000, they may say 1,500. In that case, it comes with a scale. You use that to figure out as far as how much goes in. This will take roughly 10 minutes to fill. Once everything is in, you're done, you clamp it off. The masks do not have to be worn during this entire procedure. It's just for the starting and stopping. But most of the times I spend all my time in here, so it's just easier to keep the mask on. The mask goes on you as well as the patient, and if there's any other family members in the room, they also need to wear a mask. Now, your exchange is done. Now you need to um, clamp everything off and stop. So you will take this again. Now you already have your l clevis on a gauze as well as your end cap open. You will take, you will turn this and lock that closed to the patient. Then you will take this. Usually I just kind of throw it off to the side. Bring this over. I do the same thing again around everything. Take my cap. Again, on this, the inside is what's sterile and put it back on the end. And then you're done until the next cycle. Everything gets thrown out. There's no draining of these bags anymore. Everything goes in the, tr in the red bag trash. If a patient has an existing um, peritoneal catheter and dialysis, it's a very good idea to encourage the nephrologist to order the cycler. They go on it in the evening and the dialysis Pay, uh, nurses um, take care of that. They come, set the machine up at night, and they come back in the morning and take them off. There's no interaction that we have to do with them at all. If there's any concerns, call the dialysis nurses on call and they'll walk you through.